Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway. Who's sir. your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Killing Tommy out in the street. Come on, there's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. As far as I care, you ain't even.
partner. How's things? All right. Glad to hear. Take care. Bye then. Okay, boy. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin by marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's what... Perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money. If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. type by all accounts. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. the house. 
I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon.
Get on, dear boy. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Get back on the path. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. What are you doing? Get back on the road. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Cam's gonna be happy you got that. Good for you. All right. Okay, Mr. Morgan. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Well, I suppose I should be getting off. All right, then. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. This should be some real good eating. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Really? Hey, Karen. Hey! If you could give me some leather working tools, I could make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay.
I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. In Lincolnshire, my daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job is to make a better world for ourselves. But go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that is hope. That hope begins now by being hopeful. And happy. So cheer up. So scared it would soar high out with old Phoenix Swanson. went for and Mr. Morgan. Get up. Till it all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up, smiled, and said, Bear down on your auger. Oh, I know you struck all. You have to love Don't yourself fall. in fire. Mm -hmm. That's one of the blessings. Freely given to all. Some ways. <laughs> and yet, perhaps not freely given. I am reminded of Prometheus. In many ways, the Greek myths are best in explaining the very punishments that imbue our daily existence with their frequent torture. Sure, we can have fire, and we can have the knowledge of fire, but with that comes the knowledge of every hell. We become like a god.
Christ! Hey! What's with the holler? Oh! I got bit! Oh, God! Oh! oh I need medicine! Or a siphon! Oh! 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 Oh, come on! I'm gonna die if you don't help me! Oh, uh. The poison's all inside me! I can feel it! Oh, oh. All right! All right! Oh. Quit moaning! Christ! Oh! Oh, God! Let's keep this between us. Oh! You saved my life! I owe you. Not that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You'll be all right. Thank you. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rand Bottom, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.
don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> you're funny. Listen, give me the map. I'm done asking. Oh, no. Here, take it. Just let me be. No voy a morir por este mapa, estúpido. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir.
Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Get the hell out of here! I got some unfinished business! Trust me, Morgan! Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind! It's Norman. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time.
some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild. Making a house. Wow. Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. <clears throat> you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now.